All right, Kay. Why did you just do a sudden stop? Uh, what? What? Oh, no. yeah. <laughs> Podcast 15. 15. Uh, and, of course, like We always, are Hawklock oh, Studios. I'm having to bring Rad back. Yep. Just doing something. Get away. You're doing nothing. I was doing something. Here's your seat. Stop yeah. hitting me. Sit the fuck down. <laughs> We're Hawklock Studios, here to bring you another instance of that thing we do. Yeah, that's stuff we... Damn it, Rat! <laughs> Stop it! I can't put the ah, there. Joining us this week is myself, it? me. Uh, Why do you never identify yourself in these videos? Why did I just identify myself? I said me. What if people who I are new here. to the podcast decide to listen and don't know who the fuck you are? They'll know. No, they won't. <laughs> it says it right in, right underneath it in like the uh, credits. It says right there, Cheech maybe and start, Chong. Maybe Cheech I'll start putting Chong. like a weird blank space in there. Like, Sean <laughs> Rad and dot dot dot. Oh, it's a, a multiple, asterisks. multiple underscores. I'll do, I'll do the letter K, K, I'll do the letter K, and I'll do asterisks after it. Like, you don't know who it is. <laughs> it's K, asterisk, it's asterisk, cunt. asterisk. <laughs> so, it's Carrie Underwood. If you haven't guessed, there's Sean. Sean's here. And Rad, who's uh, always here, yeah. never speaking. Oh, yeah, I speak sometimes. Silent partner. Nah, I, think he, I think he's on the talk, talkative side today. Crouching tiger, hidden tongue. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> All right. Uh, fun podcast week. Um, ooh, 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 there's a bunch of interesting ooh, things. Yeah, um, yeah. Um, where are my fun though? The, right, lamest, so notes. the lamest thing I've got on the notes today is uh, Magic Carp Jump. Huh? I, I saw something from yet. Pokemon Company. What <laughs> yeah, is that? They sent me an email about that. I haven't that. checked that out yet. I haven't checked it out myself either, but I have seen things. So I we all know about it, but nobody <laughs> bothers to look at it. It's very popular. It's all I know. It's popular? Is it like Flappy Bird? It's a popular. magic card? No, it's, it's it's weird. It's like you you catch the magic card and then you can like raise it, but I don't think it evolves into Gyarados. You just. Nobody Raising. captures a magic carp to do anything other but than to there's evolve. like different colored magic carps and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, it's called jump. shiny. Literally, yeah. <laughs> like those shiny you caught in Pokemon Go. That yeah, pisses uh, us all. Apparently though, it can get taken away by Pidgeotos. Just, really? Like, just come and sweep up taken away. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's you crazy. can't eat them though. So why do Pidgeotos want them? Why? Why can't you eat it? What's up? Don't you remember Pidge from the anime? They're all scale and bone. There's no good meat in them. No, I don't remember that. You don't? Uh, yeah, because yeah, uh, when yeah. when James got it, and then they he was told by the others how much of a ripoff it was, they're stranded on a rat, and he's just like, we're going to eat it, and he tries to bite it, and break, or Meow tries to bite it, and breaks its teeth. And uh, I think it's the Pokedex that says that it's all scale and bone. Yeah. Like, it's got no real substance, and it's not useful for eating either. So, the, so it's completely... So super that's, retarded. So that's why they get mad. Useless. That's why he kicks it and gets so mad at it. He just goes, not even good enough to eat. And he kicks it off. And then it, and turns it evolves and it murders them all. <laughs> <laughs> it, in reality, they died on that ship and or that rat. There's no way to survive it. Yeah. Chances oh. are he, Ash is in a coma Chances since are. episode two anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense to Chances me. Chances are. That theory still holds water. I mean, why else does a redhead follow you around forever? Because she wants her bike? No. Because she, she wants that dude. Oh. Yeah, but have you met Yeah, but Ash? he's like the worst Pokemon trainer in the world. Well, yeah. He every time he starts to get good, he screws it up. And yeah. then and then he gets all of it, like Dawn. Like, what why the fuck is she hanging around him? Oh yeah. I forget true. why it was her. Who else was it? So, Missy made Serena no Serena was like madly in love with him in the most what recent is Serena? From X and Y. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of us stopped years ago, right? Oh. <laughs> X and Y was actually pretty good. I remember what did I watch up to? I remember seeing past Jodo. Jodo was my favorite. Actually, Jodo might have been the last like, full one I remember watching. Half of these just sound like made-up words. Indigo, <laughs> you play Pokemon. I know, but they still sound like made-up words. <laughs> They're another language, that's why. Says the guy who loves like different uh, JRPG-style games. What are you talking about? Yeah. What? Don't you love <laughs> JRPGs? What, you, what? There's a lot of weird words you, in there. You give me one example. Final Fantasy. That's also in English. What? That, that, you didn't see this? Final Fantasy. I know those <laughs> words. They sound no, like normal words. The names, half of them don't. Half the items don't. The monsters. What? Yeah. Marlboro? That sounds like a good idea. Marlboro? I'd fight cigarettes. Yeah, I'd fight cigarettes. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, what Stop you, cancer. Fight what you didn't realize is uh, it's actually an anti-smoking campaign. Yeah. Final, <laughs> Final Fantasy. It's anti. It's anti-religion and it's anti. Uh, anti smoking. Yeah. Because it's also it's anti-religion in the sense that you're always killing deity characters in those games. Oh yeah. Yeah. Ways, which I remember seeing a video. Or entrapping like, them so into things that you can make them do your bidding. Yeah. That's Pokemon. No, no, you get like Aspers and Sawmans. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. notice how quickly that description sounded like Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah. A turn-based game where you capture things into small, <laughs> smaller things. Or I choose you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Uh, what concluded recently? It was a really funny series. Has anybody seen Pokemon Rusty? Mm-hmm. No. Um, I think Dorkley's the one who produces it. and all. they just did a oh, season yeah, two yeah, and just yeah, kind of yeah, finished it. Did. It's so funny, but they just did like a second season, and as far as I know, that's kind of it. Ended on a really funny note with that, but they they go over legendaries in one of the episode, oh. and they make it seem like you know, oh, he's super powerful Pokemon, and like no, they're actually just super endangered legendaries, and they show like a little scale as to like that, and legendaries just endangered species, they're no different than other birds. Like look at them, they come across Arce- Arceus, like look at this, no mouth and no real feet on this thing. What kind of Pokemon God created this? <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, that's wow, great. that's great. Because let's face it, like, Arceus, while it's cool, does look really crappy. Yeah. For the, like, existential character yeah. he's supposed to be. Well, if they do the Diamond and Pearl remakes, they have a chance to uh, give them, like, a God form or something. <laughs> oh, I, Technically, it's just Eddie for me has a God form. Yeah, and he can alter forms, because you can give him a plate and change him to any type you want. Yeah. I just want him to go. Mew's always great. They're adorable. Yeah, yeah, Mew's great. Love Mew. Shiny Mew's Shiny Mew is blue. I no, 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 no. Isn't no, Shiny not Mew one it. of the only Pokemon never obtainable? No, Shiny Celebi has it's never been Celebi, legally yeah. has never been legally yeah. obtainable. Which is it looks so fucking cool. It's Mew, Mew is possible. Uh, Mew is up there in extremely small yeah. percentages because I think it's Mirage Island in one of the games. You could activate the event under rare circumstances. Yeah. On very few occasions, and on top of it and being happened. There was soft a percentage chance for, for a yeah. soft reset. I don't you even know if that would reset. work because I think soft yeah. reset would run the risk of not oh, being true, available. Maybe, yeah. And also, but. soft reset is shitty. Shiny Pokemon are not worth it. They're nice if you find them. Well, I'm just saying, Shiny Mew is adorable. It's, I would love a blue, blue Mew. Don't yeah. get me wrong. No, no, I'm no, on top blue, pink. The only you see Mew. the blue one? It's only a light, Mew. It's a light no, blue. Don't want to really see it. <laughs> well, you use pink. If, use you pink. To, if you want to get it legitimately, you go on eBay and buy them from somebody, and there'll yeah. be anyone you want, and any shiny variation you want. And technically, you're not the one who used the Game Shark. Yeah. Or okay. For stars, or I had a legitimate Mew. I won yeah, a tournament. I oh. <laughs> I, I, I managed to make the glitch one occur in, uh, in blue. No, yeah. I, 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 the recent I, one. I had red uh, in the original thing, and I won a local tour. I won a, tw- a tournament at a mall I, had, I went to. And uh, the, the holders of the tournament transfers a Mew to your decks. Wow, nice. that's awesome. I uh, I want to name that Pokemon contest when I was a kid. Because <laughs> also I could repeat every single I have one never... of all, all 151 at the time. Yeah. This is back in first gen. Yeah. Name all 151. And so, yeah, I, I won the contest on like, name that Pokemon. <laughs> I have never legitimately achieved a missing no. What? <laughs> yeah, I mean, really? Yeah. How many times you, you I don't think you the can legitimately trick. achieve the duplicating trick. That's what triggers him. He isn't a legit Pokemon. I mean, technically, you have to do the glitch. Yeah, well, it's um, a glitch. Well, yes, but that's the point. That, that's the, of him. That's, yeah. the, that's a glitch. That's the closest. The closest. Well, he's not even a real Pokemon. He is he a should, glitch. No, he should be a real Pokemon. Uh, uh, did you guys ever do the Professor Oak battle? I've, I've heard of it. I've heard of it. But I've never it. done it. Uh, the, th- the rumor is Professor Oak was supposed to be the original champion because the manga mentions that he used to be a Pokemon champion. Hmm. And they think they substituted him out and put your rival in there instead. Which is why you buy, battle your rival, yeah. like, I think, before the, you go to Indigo Plateau. And then once you're there, which people are like, well, why are you doing this double fight? And yeah. he all of a sudden gets stronger in the time span. Because the, the pre-Indigo battle was supposed to be his last battle. Hmm. Which I would have loved to have actually legitimately... Yeah, they would have been. Yeah, I would have loved to beat the show. The guy trying to bang my mom all that time. Yeah, he's just like, I sent you away to see if you were better than me, and to bang your mom. Never mind. What? Never mind. Everyone is there. No, 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 no. Also, why do only you just wasn't going to say something? But getting really butthurt about his mom. Neither of you two have played Sun and Moon. So I played a little bit. I have Moon. I played a little bit. Finish it? No, I'm still on the starting line. I got past school. That's because I'm going back to Yeah, they got past in school too. Yay. Yeah. I literally right. saved on the corner. Oh I, I ran to the corner. I saved. 
So I can always go back to the Pokemon Center I already Center beat events. Sun, and then I'm like halfway through Moon already. Well, I'm also going back through Alpha Sapphire now and finally playing that. And then I'm going to try and 100% my decks, which you've never done. I have 100%. I could do it. I have I'm 100% of Pokedexes all lazy. the way through Gen 4. I'm just lazy. I have given up really fast all the way through Gen 4. You didn't like the older ones? <laughs> I, I love the like, older ones. I know. I like, always give up on these games. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but you do Final Fantasy? I, I, I can name the number of Final Fantasies I've played till the end on one hand. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. That makes more sense. I give up on yeah. like every game. <laughs> Those long ones are a bit... Uh, I mean, I still only started... I only played the very beginning of Final Fantasy 13, 7, and 15. Hmm. I still haven't gone back and started playing 15 other than uh, the initial start quest in the gas station. Oh my god. I think my car is possibly repaired, and that's it. Like, doesn't that happen really fast? Yeah. Uh, and, I, and is Sid the name of the, the yeah, girl? Yeah. Yeah. I I just like well, talking Sid, to her all day long. Sydney. Sid, Sid is Sin, the grandfather, Sidney. right? Sin, Sid is the grandfather. Cindy is the is the uh, grandfather. But she's the equivalent. Which, of by the way, the cosplay for it is amazing. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah I'm sure it is. Oh, yeah. I just like talking to her every time. She's like, "Do you have anything for me?" No, I'm got just, something for you already. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're just pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to stare at your tits. I mean, uh, oh, wow, wow, right, I face. thought she had a very cute face, actually. She did. Yeah, really okay. cute face. Yeah. Whatever you guys say. Well, we're so right. I'd name a couple of cosplayers that do it really good, but I don't want to have to pay anybody royalties for saying names. Yeah. <laughs> well, off. We'll do that one off podcast. Mm. Why do we have a whole segment of just flipping through Sid? I don't know. Sydney, Sydney, Cindy, oh, Cindy, yeah. Cindy. Oh, whatever. Stop saying it wrong. Because I know Sid. It's the only one of the characters I actually remember. So from on the topic of Nintendo, he's trying to kick me. Where was we on the topic? <laughs> oh, I guess Pokemon. Pokemon. Oh, God. Where were you? My Final Fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> used to be Nintendo. I mean, yeah, yeah there are some Final Fantasy games around. So I got some Switch-related stuff I want to talk about. Okay. Um, of course, this year... Uh, <laughs> he switched to a penis. Yeah. <laughs> Congrats, <Kay>. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> at, uh, at E3 this, this year, I will not be surprised to not hear anything uh, about Beyond Good and Evil 2. I was just going to say that they said they're not displaying anything. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but they did announce that it's going to be a timed exclusive for the Switch. What? Timed. First year, it is going to be released for the first year on Switch exclusively. And will come really? to the other consoles and PC after. Huh. I am amazed by that. Beyond Good and Evil is one of my favorite games I've still never finished. Like, I've had a lot of fun at that game, but I realized, I love, like, I've never beat I it. I absolutely loved it. I've always wanted to play it, and my opportunity to actually play it and enjoy it came when the Elite Controller and it came out for the Xbox One, and its backwards compatibility launched. <laughs> and I could yeah. just flip a switch and finally play it. Because yeah, you have to play stupid. Because they didn't give the op for, uh, option for inverted. Them and Conker's oh, Bad Fur Do you literally never play games just because you can't do inverted? If I can't control the camera, I can't play the game. It's, it's crap. I play games <laughs> with inverted controls. I don't <laughs> like it, but I've gotten used to them and adapt to it. I can't. You are so lame. Uh, yeah. 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 Super lame. But I've been enjoying it <laughs> and having Super a lame. great time. So you're playing it now? Mm-hmm. I haven't played it. I do you have it? No, I don't think so. I don't remember if it was on the backwards compatible sale it is. or not. Was it? Yeah. No, on the sale. Oh, on the sale off. I don't know. Um, that's how I picked up Ghostbusters. Anybody else pick up? Oh, you picked up I Ghostbusters. I did. I picked them both really up because you wouldn't. Re you didn't text back in time. So you're just like, what? I said, you I said act, which one like am I supposed to get? And then nothing, so I just bought them both. You <laughs> acted like it was about to end in the next couple of minutes. It was still until the end of the day. My <laughs> memory was going to end the next couple of minutes. <laughs> That's why I was texting you. <laughs> um, but I really want to try the multiplayer on the Ghostbusters the game. That had. Did you ever play the storyline of that yet? No. I haven't so, even launched it. Well, I didn't know if you played it previously. I beat no, it on never. 360. It's the unofficial third Ghostbusters. All the original voice act, or all the original actors voice their characters, and it is fantastic. It has a bunch of throwbacks to the other to the previous two, but it's its own original story, and you play as a new recruit, and it's just really really good. I love when uh, I think there was even an achievement for it, but uh, you can find the portrait from Ghostbusters too. Oh, uh, I forget yes. his name now. Uh. You fight the Stay, uh, yeah. Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, so it's a throwback to the first one with that. The Librarian Ghost. You can capture the Librarian Ghost from the beginning of the first movie. Nice. Yeah. Hmm. Um, so, it's a great one. It has a multiplayer. That's why I wanted you guys to get it, so I can try the multiplayer mode. Yeah, my hands smell like chocolate <sighs> Twinkie. That's what happens when you eat a chocolate Twinkie. Just make sure all those crumbs don't get all over the place. All the crumbs. crumbs. The one on your box. Those aren't crumbs. That's stuck to it, man. Oh, oh, oh. I, I thought that was just all in the box. I'm at a downward oh. angle. Remember this. <laughs> um, 
Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 is being released on the Switch. Yeah, you were talking about that yesterday. Yes, I'm kind of excited about that. I, yeah, I, I feel like that's actually a good title for the Switch. Yeah. Because, um, I mean, it's a good, it was a good game. But uh, And I liked yeah. it, but to be quite honest, if I have access to my TV, I'm going to play something else. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I still haven't finished one or two of that. I haven't finished two. I finished one, but on 360, not on one. I, I'm not sure if I can go back to one now. I've enjoyed two a lot. Two is fun. But I feel like one will just feel good, like going backwards and redoing a lot of things. The one drawback is, the story is kind of weak in number yeah. two, where it's mostly rehashing the same bit. events of number one. Which was which, mostly rehashing the same events of every other game. Yeah. <laughs> They won't do, like, some original concept. I mean, I love going back and playing a lot of classic stuff, but they do not do any new, really new content in Dragon Ball games. Yeah. It's just rehashing the anime, and yeah. how can you do it this time? Yeah, pretty much. Um, That's the one sad part about it. But they're great games. Yeah, yeah they are. They are, they are but great you play, games. But the story mode in every game is different. Yeah. They're always the same, with the exception of if the anime is going on, oh, okay, how up to date is this one? Oh, this one has this saga now. Oh, uh, this one has this sucker now. And none of them include GT, so... And none of them are GT's as good not canon. Uh, well, before, even before that, I don't remember... Uh, I think one of them I remember had GT story. Yeah, lines. Dragon Ball, Budokai... Tenkaichi 3? No, not, no, not, not, not the three. Budokai's or Tenkaichi's. They didn't no, know. yeah, they did. No, it was, um, it was the ones after that. There's other series that did. No. Ultimate Tenkaichi, I think. That's the one... No, that's the one he's talking about. I, yeah. played, I played the first... Three of the, the third guys. one has has I mean it doesn't have like it has a full some of the movie story ones, on. but it doesn't really no it out. has like you can get yeah. Super Saiyan four Goku and Vegeta I'm pretty sure yeah but I don't and think you go through the story mode of them like you do the other uh, you I mean you don't really go through the story mode in any of the games really what do you mean a, you go through everything that you go through this is Saiyan saga this is the story. no I know but I'm talking, I mean. I'm talking about GT I don't think you go through the GT story that's what I'm saying like none of them ever the go through the GT story like you can play as the characters and there might be like small bits of the story in it but other than see that, I never even see the small bits but that's what I'm saying none of them ever bother well like the Xenoverse games has have had well the first one had GT as DLC and then you could so play through some there. of the storyline of I did some of the storyline <laughs> of GT and then this one has the GT I think included in it it. Yeah, and then the second one I think has GT included in it. The only the DLC storylines that get added after are from Super, which is like a whole different um thing. I need to start watching Super. Super's really good. I have, I'm actually I'm actually uh, behind, and they're currently about the I think in the last arc of it now, which is the tournament of power between like seven different universes. So it's gonna be interesting. Is that still Japanese? Or you're watching the American I'm watching now? it Japanese ah. still. I, the, the American one hasn't caught up to where I, where I am, and I even stopped watching it for. Like I, a I don't months. know. I I don't watch it. I'm not a big Dragon Ball Z fan. I turned on my TV yesterday and it was on, <laughs> and I saw like ten seconds of it. I saw uh, Big Dragon Shenron bring Frieza back to life in seventy two pieces. Oh, uh, just so laying on the ground. Uh, that's what's up. Yeah, was that's that pretty a, creepy. That, that's that that's the start of the Frieza movie. Yeah, I said yeah. it's um, Resurrection it's just, it's just, Yeah, it's right. that was, it's the start that was the epi- No, it was the episode for Super. Yeah. No, I know, the but part Super, of Super yeah. rehashes that whole the, movie. The beginning part of Super does the first, does the, the Battle of the Gods, and then it does Resurrection of F, and then it goes lame. into its own storyline after that. Yeah, that's the part that's kind of lame, it's rehashing two movies. That I mean, they do it a little bit different, but it's still the same same storyline, basically. Resurrection F had some potential, and I was a little disappointed with mm. Um... But I own most of the original series on Xbox, actually. I have a yeah. lot of them uh, from one of the sales. I think I'm missing like two of the seasons. That's it. It's like two in the exact middle. <laughs> I got the I think I got the Cell, Saint Saga and I got the Frieza Saga. I'm missing the Cell. Okay. I'm missing, I think, two Cell's of the, the best one, in my opinion. I think I'm missing two of the Cell Saga, and I know I've got the Majin Buu Saga. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah I, say, I still think Cell Saga is the best saga of, out of all of them. Frieza might still be my favorite. Like, the first time... You saw Super Saiyan. Well, yeah, that still had. Like, I know, those, and but Frieza was still one of the. I just was great. I I like the Cell Saga because I like the character development of Gohan throughout the whole thing. Yeah, and then, Gohan finally became a lot better. Yeah, and then they just killed him in the Majin Buu Saga, and then spoilers now hello. even now even in Super he's still kind of a bitch. 
Well, it's because he sucked down. Everybody else has been training, getting stronger. Go. The only people that have been Gohan. training and getting stronger are Goku and Vegeta. And Piccolo. Oh, yeah, and Piccolo. I'm pretty sure Piccolo is stronger than Gohan probably by this point. By this point, yeah, but I think in Super, Gohan <laughs> Gohan started training again, so he but probably he's still like God just yeah. stood forced the fuck out of me. Sorry. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk more we about do this, this later. We do so. this to David all the time. <laughs> yeah. Monster Hunter And me, X. when you guys talk about shit that I don't... Monster know. Hunter don't XX. Like I never played it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not sure I'm okay with <laughs> no, no. Monster Hunter. It's only two X's. <laughs> oh, so it's, it's not porn. Only, it's oh, only so two it's X's. Porn. Okay. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. And that's apparently a new Monster Hunter game coming to the Switch and the 3DS with possible okay. plot cross-platform play. Ooh. I don't know what that means. Also, they're on Monster Hunter 20. Didn't they just do like the third one three times over? I don't believe it actually is 20. Yeah, that's I don't think it's what actually they're calling 20. It. Well, then that's stupid. They know no, I think, I think the last Monster Hunter games. game was just X, like Monster Hunter X. So this, I think this is like the sequel because it's XX. Just yeah, it's a, their naming that. convention's retarded. Yeah, well, um, the Monster Hunter games have weird names. I've always wanted to try a Monster Hunter game. Me too. But and I was I've thinking never... maybe I might get in with this one. Maybe. I, might, I, I might, never played I might join you on that as well. Uh, I'm just waiting for the fucking Switch Pokemon game to be announced. That's what I'm waiting You keep for. thinking this. But they're going to no, do it. Why the fuck are you staring at that? Because I thought yeah. the timer was being off and I was a little worried that the other oh. got funny. I they're going to do it. The, the timer the, looks fine. It does now, but there's points where like it was freezing and all of a sudden it was yeah. like it would jump up. Yeah, I don't know. Doesn't uh, look like it to me. It's not now, but when I first looked at what it. What if we all talk at once? Let's try this guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's fine. Yeah. I don't see it. Well, no, I'm saying, but that's the that's some, something like that happening was the reason why we had audio skips on previous uh, podcasts. Okay. That's like the one time I stopped it and uh, yeah. cut it back together because it looked like it was doing a skipping yeah. function. Yeah, perhaps. But, uh, yeah. No, the only way to know would be to stop, check it, and then just continue off like nothing happened. Yeah. Hmm. It's gonna happen, John. The next Pokemon game is gonna be on the Switch. It'd be nice, but I'm also expecting it to do what Nintendo always does, and they're gonna flip some other. I think before anything we hope comes out, they're gonna do another like Pokemon Tekken Two. What? Pokemon uh, Tekken Two. Whatever. Pokemon Tournament. Pokemon Tournament. Yeah. Uh, they. I, I think they. I don't know if they're gonna re-release it for the Switch or if they're just gonna do. An, they need a, to a put movie. more into that game. Like it's fun. Yeah. But it's so minimal. Like it, you yeah. can tell it's an arcade. I feel like game. it'll be so much better on the Switch. It's if, an arcade game ported over, it. Yeah. and then it doesn't even have all the things the arcade game has, which yeah. is really sad. Yeah. I'm. Uh, I'm convinced that they're gonna just uh, bring up uh, Super Smash Deluxe. You think? I yeah. think they will. That's exactly what they're going to be do. To be honest, I'd be willing for that because there's a lot of DLC for that game, which if it came packaged in would yeah. be kind of worth it. Yeah. I feel bad. Yeah. I played so little of this new Smash game, and I really? want to play more. I have it on I have both versions, too. Mm. And I, played I think little. one thing they need to do if they do re-release it like they did with Mario Kart where they brought back Battle Mode, I think they need to bring back a story mode because I, I for one, I like... too much content. They're not gonna I, think, that's gonna I liked playing the story mode. I think the if they make a deluxe it. edition... And they release it on the Switch without 3DS com- uh, cross-play. And they give us Ice Climbers. That's, that's what I want. That's what I want. <laughs> I want be, a story mode. That's all cool, I want. That would be a cool introduction. Like, you know, and now back with Ice Climbers. They're not going to do a story mode. There's going to be a lot of work to make a new story oh, that's mode. That's so stupid. And, and right now... I really like the story trying, mode and all I of the agree, other ones. I agree, but Nintendo hates Let's Plays. Ugh. That's the one thing. As much as I, I'm a Nintendo fanboy... Them with their Let's Play policies are such a pain, and they make it too difficult for everybody. I guess. Uh, like why do you think we don't have any Nintendo Let's Plays on our channel? Oh, well, I mean... As much as I would like to, but... Uh, it's, it's basically, unless you're a PokeTuber or strictly Nintendo YouTuber, you Yeah, you but they have to they, give... Re- fucking... Well, if they're showing a live gameplay, they have to keep giving a percentage revenue. Yeah, I know. If they're making anything off, no. which is just... these. Trust me, the YouTube guys are not making a huge amount of money, especially because the algorithm right now... Has cheesed off a lot of yeah. YouTubers. Did, didn't PewDiePie delete his channel, or is that he, he deleted one of them? One of them. Yeah. So he's still doing his stuff. Like even still, like I understand it hurts his revenue a bit, but like, dude, you're still making a lot of money doing what you're doing. <laughs> yeah. And you just make a lot of money just like guest starring in the things at this point. Like, yeah. You know, I, I understand it's a little bit of a downgrade, but that's what a lot of YouTubers seem to be doing now is that they guest star in each other's shit or in celebrity shit. So we, yeah. need, we well, I mean, need, he also we need more said he sells books. I mean, he's yeah. got a coffee table book called PewDiePie, PewDiePie or whatever. What? Loves you, and it's just I don't know what it is. It's weird. Uh, <laughs> my friend's obsessed with him, and she's got the book. Oh wow! What? I don't even know. I mean, he's retarded. Book. Did you ever see? Um, I think Game Theory did the uh, 
a, a breakdown as to why PewDiePie became like the big success. Like he thinks he kind of broke down the situation that it happened. It had to do with the fact uh, being English speaking overseas and then switching countries because he lived. Where is he originally from? What is he? He's Sweden. Sweden. Sweden, yeah. right? Sweden. But then he moved to France or England. He moved to another more England. Western country. I think it might have been England. And was, so he was building up cr credential there. Then he moved over there, so that hit him into a new algorithm. So he's hitting a bigger audience now. Yeah. And because he was English speaking, on top of that, it hit a bunch of other countries that don't more normally hit because they use English as a second language. I and mean, that's the reason he even ever became known over here because yeah. you don't see a lot of international guys except for Britain. You'll see those guys uh, recommended on our YouTube algorithms here yeah. because of the English comparison. But he moved there and that put him onto the track to here. So he managed to, the way his thing worked out, streamed him across more networks than a typical YouTuber. Clearly, by like, he didn't do it intentionally, no. by accident. And then the fact that you know he kind of cuts things down to just the funny stuff. It's short, quick videos. The algorithm was working to those type of videos then. Doesn't do it now. Hmm. Now it's recurring content's the biggest thing with them. Yeah. Um, but at the time, he was also making videos along that happened to fit what they changed the algorithm too. So there's a lot of like great circumstances that just really aligned for him that made him big and that they broadcast them everywhere and recommended them all the time. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, so, but enough about PewDiePie. Or whatever the fuck his name is. Um, <laughs> you say that, but if we ever got a guest star here, that would make that would be like the one thing that would really launch this. Yeah, you got millions. Somebody's gotta reach out to him and say, "Hey, people, we would love for you for just one video. Pop in. Why not? Like, <laughs> Pop in and correct me when I misspell your name." Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I so always remember people trying to pronounce his name before they knew what it was. And yeah, you got some weird stuff in well, there. Well, yeah. I mean, and people it's like me, with people trying to announce Pews, yeah. my first <laughs> I was like, wow, that's that's the one thing yeah. that sucks. So, yeah. Xbox launched their game streaming service. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Uh, I think it's a nice idea. It is. It is a fantastic idea. It has but, the potential to be amazing. And uh, a lot of people... You don't guys? usually sit over there. Well, well, I was putting you guys in camera angle. No, all right, whatever, whatever. I so thought it would be a little easier because I could see you guys a bit more. So I, just the the table's not full. Bam, There's nobody bam, else bam, to bam, really bam, fill bam, it. Bam, there. Now the table's bam, not full. How ah, dare you? I meant to even it out. I'm going punch around. That took him so long to do. Because I'm not creative. We're not creative. I actually like this better. Oh, God. <laughs> you bastard! That wasn't me! Who broke that? I don't know. I don't know. Kay was the only one. I didn't touch anything. I can't even I reach over. I'm going to watch this footage again after we're done. And I, I swear, swear if, I, if that was one not of you me. guys did. Because I've definitely been walking back and forth to this chair, so that dude, was not there before. We should leave the table like this because it looks like a giant H. Okay. Kind of, except not. I, yeah, no. I like it's it. It's a little disproportion for an H. Yeah, you're disproportion for an H. <laughs> so you know I'm right. Anyway, well, it's what if been... we what if we make it one square longer and leave leave just one brick in the It'll middle? It'll be too deep. Yeah, too deep. Bruh. What do you mean? You know what I'm saying. You would have to. It would be wide and it'd be like. Or a what if we thing. what if we cut? They said the thing is command console. I have granted you here. So because <laughs> Xbox <laughs> game <laughs> streaming <laughs> service. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it launched. It's gotten fairly <laughs> Fuck <you>. decent, <laughs> fairly decent reviews. People have uh, good. So what exactly uh, is, nice. is it? Like, is it like you can play any game? Or it's like, not. What? They don't is have it, every it, game in it. Okay. They're, they're going to be cycling games. Okay. Um, That's what they have 360 games and Xbox One games. Now in is it, it free or is it like it's a ten dollars a month like Netflix? Okay. okay. Uh, but you can just play any of the games in it for as long a limited time, and month? they change okay. apparently. They said every month they're going to be swapping in different ones. Okay, and they're good things. So it's kind of like PlayStation Now. No, so oh. PlayStation Now is only older Excuse games. Me. Now, do you have to download the games on your system still, or apparently it's a streaming service? I haven't actually so just, tried, but okay. I feel just, like you're still going to download it somewhere. Probably like, a little bit. Yeah, PlayStation yeah. Now was a it was a streaming service, but you still had to install the game. But they were. PS3 games, they require a lot less installation yeah, for okay. it. Yeah, but sense. the problem with the PlayStation Now one, which was a pretty decent idea, is if you don't have a constant connection, it drops you. Mm. Uh, uh, that's the one thing. Do you guys have like, any idea what games they're... Uh, 
starting with? There's a, there's a there's list a, there's in them out there. We can uh, they pull it up and show you, you later uh, you so didn't that see you can it on the suck that dick. I, I saw the advertisement, but I didn't know what it was. So, so it's only, what, $10? I thought it was 15 for I, I believe it's $10 a month. Um, it's been critically acclaimed. Uh, in fact, it's apparently, I haven't tried it, but apparently it's so well, it. a lot of websites are saying that it should be available on PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I mean, if it goes well. I mean, well, like I said, PlayStation is only older games anyway. Yeah. Um, True. And also, gotta remember, Microsoft's trying to pull out some edges to still catch up the PS4. So, yeah. I mean, that's a way to make it kind of happen. I don't. They 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 kind of doing just fine on their own. <laughs> but comparatively, they want that's to do true. better. Com you know that. <clears throat> yeah. No, well, you always want to do better than your competition. Exactly. So mm -hmm. you know, they're they're still to their mind, they're always playing catch up. But they they don't feel like they're going to overtake PlayStation. They've said that themselves. Mm -hmm. But they're like, we just try and make sure this stays a success for us. That way, next time around. We'll be better prepared to launch a little stronger than what we did this time. Mm. Yeah. Which I still had very few problems with the Xbox One launch to begin with. No, no, I, was, I felt, I felt issues, the launch was but... smooth. I felt it was it was great, and I still feel the system performs better than the PS4. Yeah. Uh, yeah downloads. I, I still wish the download worked a little better. The downloads are a little slow. I do notice that things do download a little faster on my PS4. And I can do multi downloads on PS4. That is true, but they do a lot slower. Yeah, that's, I mean, it's that. true. Depending on what it is, sometimes I might like that. Well, the other, I mean, I don't know about you guys. I, you probably do. Do you hardwire your consoles to your router? Yes, yeah. Okay, I also do that, so my downloads aren't, like, the, the Wi-Fi built. Jamie moved my damn Wi-Fi into the basement. <laughs> the I hardwired every system yeah. before that. Uh, the Wi-Fi built into the uh, uh, Xbox One caps out at about 33 megs. Okay. That's uh, it? Yeah. Uh, um, and my connection goes up to like 90. So okay. I so had to hardwire that thing up. I think, I think, I assume mine's probably better than that too. So I'm glad well, that Jamie I Well, Jamie told me I should refurnish and re rebuild the basement and turn that into a studio for us. I agree. I agree. Do you guys have the money that you know, requires a refurnish a basement? Have you uh, seen how unfinished well, my well, basement uh, is? Mr. I have also a bunch right? of money saved up and no job to go and uh, waste time at. I can go refurbish it any time I want. Who do, you think's uh, making these, who do you think's making these things occur now? <laughs> Staying on top of our schedule stuff, recording things, hey, scripts and all. It's, it's a group effort. We, we all have to show up. Time we did a you have to show one damn day a week. Yeah, one yeah. afternoon, actually. You guys don't even have to get ready until one. This is the most I've heard your voice all year. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Kate runs the podcast. Well, what are you doing? I'm trying to talk more. Which and, is good. And I have a, We love your beautiful, had that sexy voice. idea that I told you about yesterday about our outro. Oh, yeah. Was, but we'll talk about that. Yeah, that's yeah let's not play do. that back again. I don't want to hear my voice. <laughs> it's just terrible. <laughs> You want to play more of your voice? No, I don't. This is why. I, this is why I don't listen to our podcast because I'm just I'm atrocious. I can't. I can't hear me. Really? Yeah. You don't I mean, watch I'm the podcast. I can understand not too. watching the podcast if you're on it because you already know it. But yeah, if you're I not on it, you guys never watch it anyway. I'm the only one who watches the podcast. I don't watch crew. it because I'm. I don't watch anything that I'm. I think Austin on. sometimes does if he's not on. I don't watch anything that I'm on. So unless, Austin, unless if you're watching something. this, I want you to leave a comment below in this video. Uh, you know, I want you to say, hey yo, I hear you bitches. And it's why I know you're actually listening to this. <laughs> followed That's by, it. suck that dick, Sean. <laughs> yeah, and also followed in, by, I love you, Red. It would be great if I find a bunch of other people who put their comments. <laughs> <laughs> you just see a whole bunch of comments of just All 20 of you are suck that dick, <laughs> <Yeah>. Sean. <laughs> no, no, it's... Uh, <laughs> What did I say? Hey yo, hey y'all. Um, Hola, here va. Nah. <laughs> What's that thing he he says something like? Hey yo, hey yo. 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 So so you have to put hey yo. I watch this bitches. Suck a dick, Sean. Love you. Suck rad. that Love you dick, rad. Sean. Yeah. Suck that dick, Sean. <laughs> Love you, Rad. <laughs> so that's your that's your homework. That's his, today, yeah, that's his homework. If he actually watches it. Yeah, if he, if he watches it, we will know. We're going to ask him. And if he goes, oh, we watched him, I'm like, oh, really? D -d 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 I don't see your comment down here, Austin. Yeah. And I know great. all your usernames, so I know if it's yeah. going to be you. If it's like Hambo streaming or Oh, uh, I just Hambo. gave everybody away his thing. It's always in the video. It is, though. <laughs> I know. I'm just kidding. It's his damn gamer tag, for fuck's sake. Yeah, anything Drenix related is most likely me. Anything. Ridiculous will be you. Yeah, exactly. And kill cake. So I like that we're consistently keeping that stuff, which is good. Well, yeah. It's good for branding. It's good for like publicizing. I admit mean, yeah. it. Anything really? Huh? <laughs> anything really? That's 
anyway, it's all good. It's Uniformity. Sad. Yeah. Yeah. Um, as much as we wanted Rad to go Juicy Bug. You got no, anything else for you. us? Are you already done? No, I have a couple. I have two more things. Yeah, but, uh, uh, you first, have the one. You well, we, well, we have a shared one. Yeah, the shared oh, one from shared one. I, I leads into another into Ooh, the other one. You I guys have a shared one. Okay, yeah, yeah, I was I was gonna end with that shared oh. one that we were gonna have. Uh, see, I and then you could lead yours after that. I thought you were leading into uh, into that because it's of leading you in because it's Ubisoft. We will. We will. No, I was gonna. I was gonna go into that. Or as, how does Austin say it? Ubisoft. Ubisoft. Shut up, Brad. No, he says it. Oh, he says it? Austin knows events. He always calls it Ubisoft. Yeah, Ubisoft. It's not Ubisoft. <laughs> uh, so so you don't have anything else other than that? Um, of, of, of merit right now, no. Let's see. What do you uh, got? Uh, dick in the box. No, that's it. No, Just move on to this one. There's no <laughs> box around here. No dick. Move on uh, to that one now. All right, there's so. You, there's a box right there. Get your ass get here, Austin. <laughs> when did you text that? Just now. In this podcast. Why did you text this- your ass here? <laughs> Podcast. He's. We're already halfway through. I don't give a <laughs> shit. <laughs> he misses Austin. Wow, he does not like conversations with us. I know. So, uh, Mostly me. That's Eve cool. online. What? Eve online. Why aren't you going to the topic we talked about? Because I wanted to end with that one, so I'm going to start with my. We last don't know how long that's going to go. Because okay. I got another one to go in after. That's that. fine. Bitch. Yeah, you can do that after Bitch. that. Bitch. Oh, fuck you. Just but go uh, uh, Eve we online is making you. headlines again, well, uh, as it always does. Now this. I, I don't know if any of you heard. You guys know what Eve Online is. I've right? heard of it, but I never played Sean? it. I know, yeah. Okay, it yeah. It, I've never played it either myself. It it's a kind of a game. I feel like it would be a little overwhelming to get into. Okay. Um, Especially the, now. There's a lot going on. It takes a lot of dedication, hmm. and to make it even worse, money isn't like collected in your wallet. It's a physical object in the game, oh, and you God. can lose it. Oh God. Uh, People invest hardcore money into that game yeah yeah hard and they <laughs> made headlines this month a gentleman uh i think this is his name was samantha <laughs> what <laughs> sometimes i think k makes up news stories uh, and this is why <laughs> <laughs> Man spent 16 samantha. months conning an organization in the game what yeah an npc or no group people? a group of people uh I don't know the, the full name of the organization. There's a, a Braxian police or something like that. They're a group of pirates who like to harass people. Um, they're all about the thrill of the fight and stuff like that. Apparently, majority of the people who, uh, when you fight, you want you use cheap ships because if it, you know it's a very unforgiving game. It's not like oh yeah. I blow up my ship, I'm gonna go get it back. Yeah. It's gone. Oh wow. Um, these people they want a tournament, and uh, every year these, these tournaments they give. Uh, a unique uh, tournament freighters. Okay. Right. Fr- frigates or whatever the fuck. Um, they're very unique. They're only made for that year. Okay. And so, but these, these AT frigates, they're different every year. And that, you know, the winning team gets 50 of them. Um, but they get, they get become really rare. Yeah. Uh, about a couple of years ago, they added this thing to the game called Kill Marks. Kill somebody with a ship. It gets a mark on it. Okay. It's a permanent mark. So now ships become even rarer. Oh, and wow. These people, they do all of their pirates, they do all of their hunting in these expensive-ass fucking ships. Oh, wow. Huh. And this guy has not only, like, one of his rare ones, he's got over 400 kill marks on it. Wow. It's ridiculous. And they're a close-knit, tight group of pirates. And this guy, Samantha, conned his way into the group and apparently they're, they're known for swapping their ships back and forth between each other. Okay. He got three <laughs> different frigates oh, of wow. expensive types, including the, the 400 kill mark one that this guy was known for, and put him on a fucking carrier and took off. <laughs> <laughs> and sold them for a little, I don't know how much money. It really wasn't worth it for the time he put into it. 16 months he spent getting close to this just for the purpose of stealing the ship. Wow. No other reason he wanted to steal this ship. It, <laughs> he was a con artist and this is how he wanted to do oh it. Oh my god. 16 fucking months yeah. just to steal this ship. Holy shit. That's a lot of time just for that. Yeah. Yeah, for real. I mean, you always hear about the big battles and the millions and millions of and all the, and the, millions. And the thousands of dollars that go into like yeah, people killing world, themselves. World, 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 world. Now, is that part actually? You true? can actually spend the in-game money on real life on real life stuff. You can. Yeah. Oh, they they. Uh, I know. Uh, the first thing they started with, I think it was like ten years ago. 
they uh, they uh, launched the store in game store where you can spend the in game money on video cards. And, oh wow! Uh, they've experienced. I think expanded into other computer components and stuff, and That's including awesome. the uh, the subscription for the game. Yeah. This is how come Bitcoin became a thing, isn't it? It started out with this type of stuff, like virtual. Uh, property having monetary value hmm. and ultimately I think that's where Bitcoin kind of derailed out of maybe I mean the, the story did have a happy ending for the most part he um, made money and pirates got screwed one the guy uh, uh, the story got out there and uh, the one guy uh, some guy a uh, very rich guy in the game bought the pirates ship one of a kind ship with the 400 kill marks and then gave it back to him well, why would you give it back to the pirates they're 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 it's not. Like, hey, you're an axe murderer. <laughs> they're, they're, not, they're not, they're not killers. Pirates. They're yeah. they're thrill fighters. They're yeah. not thieves. They fight for the thrill. They live for the edge of the sheet of possibly permanently losing, losing something yeah. so expensive. Yeah. They're they're junkies. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they're you if you played this game. But they're a close knit type of you people. You have an addictive I mean, the, the guy himself said he wasn't so mad about losing the ship as he was losing a friend. Because it was over a year that guy yeah, was pretending fun. to be one of them. Yeah. That's, that's, so that's crazy. Funny. That is an insane story. But the pirates, aren't they ripping off other people in the game? They're not stealing. No, no they're, these... they're not. They're, their name, I think, is just pirates. No, they're, they're, they're something police. Oh, oh they're police. They're considered they're, they're they're considered pirates because they don't actually. Or do any order. They're chaotic. Uh, they only jump people and kill them. Oh. Uh, for the thrill of battle. See? If you're <laughs> playing the game, one of those assholes come across you. Like, oh great, this 400 mark ship. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> Take a shit. And then somebody comes along and just like jack your ride well, in space. I don't think they're going to come after you if you're in a cheap fucking ride. Well, <laughs> they yeah. want the thrill of going after like big ass powerful ships. Yeah. In these ships that aren't really meant to be fought in. But they'll do it themselves. Mm -hmm. Keep a big-ass powerful ship to shoot down these other ships. No, they <laughs> the ships that they use are not meant to be fought with. Yeah, they're prize they're ships. prize oh. ships. Yeah. They are very expensive. One of a kind, not Why manufactured again. Why do people again. want those, then? To show off? Yeah. People have the dumbest things they like for. I mean, in Overwatch, you know how many people probably put money into the game just for the cosmetic stuff that's there? Just for the rare skins, <laughs> probably. And that's just for... <laughs> <laughs> hey! Hey, Kay, how much have you invested into Overwatch? I don't even want to talk about it. I oh my like god, how up... much did you invest? I, I, I invest... I, I buy... At every event, I purchase two sets of 50 poop boxes. Oh my what? god! Everything. Is that like 40 bucks? Mm. A piece? So, so I'd say so about eighty bucks an event. I told you, people yeah. spend money. That's why. Like, that's why. Like we play the first wow. thing. Like, only people have these anniversary things. The lucky that people I've, like I've, him. I've so far only bought one. I've only bought uh, forty boot boxes so far this event. I was going to buy another forty with my next paycheck. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I did oh, not God. pay the full amount though. Microsoft gave me fifteen bucks uh, uh -huh. into my account. So I love when I get the uh, random. I just yeah. check to see if I got a new deposit this month. I did. So maybe you did. Buy I probably boxes. did too. <laughs> so I'm considering. I don't know. I still want to get Friday the Thirteenth. Yeah. Oh, there's another thing to talk about. Friday the Thirteenth came out. We haven't played it yet. Though. We have not played well, it. Yet. I Jimmy think we should play shouldn't spend the money to get it. We should play it. Maybe. There, um, there are secrets that I can pull. Yeah. No. Uh, <laughs> let's uh let let's save that for a time when we've actually played it. Yeah. Well, well, let's talk it up when its, it's server there. issues are gone. Yeah, when <laughs> server issues are gone and maybe a little more than three. Here's the thing. I didn't realize it was seven v one. I thought it was like 4v1. But like, you don't really fight back, do you? Yeah, you can kill Jason. There's an achievement for it. You can really? stun him with like finding... Randomly, Jason's shack spawns anywhere in the level. Yeah. And he'll find his mom's dead body. And you can take her sweater. And something with the sweater can stun Jason because it surprises him. And you can actually take Jason's mask. Because there's an achievement for doing that like 13 times. Um, and then there is one for successfully killing Jason. I watched uh, some people online who were live playing. Their goal was to kill Jason. Requires a lot of specific circumstances to occur. So it's not as easy as it sounds. But I did watch them take out. And it actually has like a whole cutscene death. Where, like, the dude like hit him with like a machete or things like that. And then you see like he finished him off with like a straight down slice into his head. Hmm. Machete stayed there and Jason dropped and died. It was really cool. Except but they took his really mask dead. beforehand too. Um, and to escape it, you have, I think, four options. You have to, uh, you can repair a car, do a difference, finding certain things and repairing the car, uh, repairing a boat, you can oh, call for boat. police, 
And it gives you a list as to what things you have to do to make the circumstances. Another one is to call some dude. I guess he's from one of the movies that I don't remember. <laughs> call Michael Myers. No. Take care of this motherfucker for me. <laughs> yeah, and Shrek comes in. <laughs> you get that Michael Myers to show up. <laughs> That'd be the best this Easter egg This is more ever. swamp. <laughs> And a muscle. <laughs> that is so great. <laughs> Shrek shows up and fights Michael Myers. <laughs> uh, that'd be the greatest yeah, ever. Um, or uh, Austin Powers shows up <laughs> in a fight with him. No, but there's somebody in the game you can call in because there's something with like getting that guy killed or something like that. My f- and the achievements on there are listed as really funny. My favorite still is um, Escape Via Boat with another counselor still left alive. And... and uh, what was it called? It's um, some whatever guy's name is like. Oh, John's a dick. Wasn't it Chad? Chad. Yeah. Chad's a dick. Is the achievement's name? Is the is the leave and survive on your own when you haven't? I think by boat it says explicitly. But while there's person. another survivor still alive, so just leaving him behind. <laughs> 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 and the car is crazy because you got to drive out the road after you get the car. Is but there... Jason can walk in front of it and sh- and slam and shut the car oh, down. Wow. Is, is there is there a counselor named Chad? Or, or was this like somebody in the I, testing did this and they decided to make it an achievement? I, I think Some guy there, testing it named Chad just funny. left without one of the other testers. Yeah. Like, you fucking dick. I think there <laughs> is a character named Chad. I know that each uh, character has a different name, has different stats for each counselor um, and design to them. And then just like there's all different Jasons from different movie eras that have different abilities and just different mm. stats to them. So I, I think, I there think was one we named should get Chad. a DLC pack of the counselors from Wet Hot American Summer. <laughs> you have to get the rights though to that. Though. <laughs> That'd be cool. That'd be an interesting one to kind of spin in. Hmm. Um, I also kind of want them. I, mean, I saw all the Jasons now. I want Jason X to show up as a future character in that. They're gonna add single player story mode later this summer. They can do Jason X. They said the only thing they can't do is Jason Freddy versus Jason's Jason. Due to uh, I don't think there's a lot of uniqueness. Is, is there any real uniqueness to his Jason though? I don't know. I don't think there would be as much. Like Jason X. Would be physically unique, and then you can give him unique abilities. Given that one-off movie, not a good movie, but he's <laughs> badass-looking Jason when they souped him up at the end. Mm. Uh, I would like Jason with that metal hockey mask look. That was awesome, and the cybernetic arm and stuff like that. Mm. You don't remember this, dude? Yeah. You're looking at me like I'm crazy. No, I don't. I remember you don't remember that? that? Yeah, he gets, <laughs> they, they, like, he gets like wrecked to pieces, and he gets rebuilt with. He gets rebuilt with uh, by Nanobite, so he comes back like partial cybernetic. He's got a uh, silver metal mask now. I think one of his arms was completely rebuilt to cybernetic and stuff. Huh. It was pretty badass, actually. It's the one good thing out of a shitty Jason in space movie concept. <laughs> it was a terrible Jason movie. in space. Um, I'll show you guys it. Uh, well, I'll bring up bring up the other topic because that. Uh, Think. Oh, my other. We're, we're topic. down to a, like. We're we right up. A little more. Forty six, forty seven. Forty five. And it's just so yeah, we're we're getting a little lower on time. Yeah. Um. It, it would be better if Austin were here. I'm just, would be, I'm but guess that yeah. dude has so many things that keeps occurring. On the one day he's told, uh, "Don't make plans." It's your recording day. So, so there's another thing about busting your balls, Austin. Too many spontaneous events, sir. <laughs> I tell my wife no to everything that's occurring on Sundays, and she now no longer makes plans for me on Sundays. She goes, when people invite stuff, she goes, I'll be there. Sean won't be. He's got stuff he has to do. <laughs> there you go. And that's why she's awesome. Yep. Someday, someday, Sunday. <laughs> so, Far Cry 5 yes. was announced this week. The bread and butter of what I care about. <laughs> uh, I still haven't finished Primal, damn it. I don't get it. Yeah. I need you to finish Primal so I can eventually go and finish Primal. <laughs> uh, I haven't played it. But you should know me. I would have brought it back since I'm playing a lot of other games right now. Oh, really? I, I was letting you do your shit. I, I haven't, I haven't gotten into it. it, it, it so. is, I have all these other games. Yeah, but week, Far Cry 5 taking place in Montana. Montana. First time Far Cry comes to America. And it's going to be a cult. Yeah, it's a religious cult. So I love the concept of this. I think it's brilliant, yep. and it fits Far Cry so well. Yep. Um, a bunch right. of Christian extremists. <laughs> and we emphasize they are extremists. Uh, and you're, uh, you're, they've taken over Hope County. You're apparently going to be coming in as a deputy yep. to huh. try and take the county back. Which is weird, because the only part that's a little unbelievable with that is like something like that happens, man. You can guarantee you're going to have, like... Uh, National Guard already stationed in that town and just 
Uh, that, I mean, yes and no. Uh, there's a lot of times these cults take over these places and the local police try to deal with it themselves before calling in anyone else uh, out of pride. So there's a lot of times we don't hear about things like this until they get really yeah, bad. Yeah. Um, sometimes there's areas where the local police just don't go in at all. Oh, wow. Yeah. All right, so here's Jason X at the beginning of the movie. Yeah. And then when he gets rebuilt, that's Jason X. No. What the hell? Yeah. He's like partially cybernetic rebuilt. His one arm's completely reconstructed. Uh, and then, yeah, like the metal hockey mask that's like grind, uh, like wrapped on his face. That would be an awesome game, Jason, is what I'm saying. Yeah. It was a crazy dumb movie, but come on. That thing comes chasing you and you give him some special abilities uh, related to so like, the future stuff. We're going to cut this back and forth. That's going to be some interesting... I just well, I said I was gonna look up the photo. We're gonna keep, keep going with Far Cry. I just want to show you show you guys into that. Anybody look up Jason X? It's a great skin. Developers, uh, start messaging the developers. Tell them they should add Jason X as a future DLC to Friday the Thirteenth. So also I meant to mention something else with that too. I forgot. It's got it's, it's garnering a lot of uh, controversy right now. Um, Is it? I haven't seen any controversy. It's garnering a lot. Of, I mean, Far Cry games always. Garner controversy. Now, Rad's that's, never played. I'm that's what play. they do for the most part. Mm -hmm. um, but the controversy going around doesn't end this is wicked retarded. Uh, is people are, are, are really jumping on this game because... A, a, not, not because it takes place in America, but because they're Christian. And they're saying <laughs> it's giving Christians a bad name. And they, they've actually referred to it as White Genocide Simulator. <laughs> Wait, what? These are the type of people who who, who are, who are car carting issues with this game, are the type of people who did not have issues with any of the previous ones, where the main character, where the main villain wasn't white. <laughs> These are the kind of people who don't see the difference between Islam and Islamic State. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's meant to be, and they emphasize the fact that these are, like, extremists. Yes, these are not, not Christian, not... so I can understand, like, not wanting to get the thrown at you bad name thing. But, again, it, this is, like, Timothy McVeigh yeah. style thing, which, you know, he is a dude who also identified like that, but mm -hmm. clearly he was a far off the Absolutely. Yeah. And that's what these they, guys they're are. They're offended because the basis, their religion is the basis of this guy's insanity. And, and you know... But what, there's been a ton of cults. Yeah, but that like happens. That, that yeah, that names. happens in America. A lot of these. I mean, like, the Westboro Baptist Church, for one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no inspiration at all. Wink. <laughs> <laughs> it just, this it, is the West... It happens. Uh, West County... Uh, Baptist. Flaptus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Every religion has an extremist sect that twists the beliefs back and forth. Yeah. And Christianity is... It's big no, in this country. That's it's the big in this country, and it's pick. and it's no different from any other religion in, in this aspect. There will be extremists who take things and twist the words in ways that they should not be, and I, I on I for one embrace this idea, and I think it's great, uh, and and I, I like that they they made these actual white Americans, not these <laughs> southern hillbillies that are out of touch with society. Well, far, far out of touch with society. We have an actual villain. And it's not southern. Yes, yeah, that's the other that's, thing. That's, that's southern it's, hillbillies. It's, yes, just actual white Americans out of their mind, villainy. And I think that's great, and I think it would be even better if the deputy's black. Hmm. That, you oh. play as. that would be fantastic. Oh, I don't know. I feel like that will start a controversy. That will. Oh, that will definitely that make worse. I think. I think they should embrace that. <laughs> but that I mean, I don't know. They Far Cry tends to break up into different, uh, different ethnic okay. protagonists, right? Like one in three was white, mm. but one was like a soldier white guy. The other one was a rich kid white guy. What was two? I think two was white too. Was he? I think they were all white. He's really. in Africa. I wasn't sure what he might have been. He was visiting them. Well, no, because um, four, he was from that country. He was just raised in America, so he would have been. Um, what was that? Malaysia? Yeah, four, four. He was in uh, Nepal. Nepal. Or, or whatever. It was yeah, Nepal that, that, area. But yeah. Yeah. So he was a different one, and then Primal is not technically traditional white. It's or anything really. Yeah, it's like. It's, <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Native, I guess. Yeah, it'd be more like Native American stuff. Rad, come back down here. What? <laughs> no! You're down. <laughs> hey, look, there's sun in here. Um, so, yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, I agree with you. Part of me would be like, 
that would be kind of funny. I feel like, though, he is an officer. There's a lot of the racial tension stuff between officers. But I feel like reversing that will just be... People are going to take that into a Absolutely. unfortunate concept. They if will. He, if they he, definitely will. If he was just an African-American guy, it might be different. But an African-American officer, I think that'd be entertaining and would be interesting. But I feel like those positions and those colors would come off offensive to people and people will have an issue i i agree but i i think i i do feel like we need a game with a good strong african-american lead uh, protagonist it doesn't happen if, if anymore sheriff... i was i was very disappointed to find out that isaac clark uh from dead space wasn't black i thought he was the entire time i was playing until he took his helmet off all right i thought he took it off before three it, no yeah yeah in the first one. Oh, okay but I, I was disappointed when i found out he wasn't um, and then, you know, I, th I thought, you know, it would be great, you know, uh, Mafia 3. That would be fantastic. And then you find oh, out early on in the story that he's only half. Um, well, I told you, I knew beforehand he was. They mentioned the fact that he, yeah. was, a, he was a mixed, uh, I, he was a mixed I, kid. Which is what gave him some ins in some areas because of one part of him. And then was what outcasted him in the other sense. I, I still feel like we, we haven't I had feel like he should have been a full true uh, game like this. And, and I think that there are too many... Companies are, are shying away from this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Bethesda got definitely pulled some great strings when they chose to uh, make the prey lead Asian, um, and uh, you know because we don't see a lot of Asian protagonists. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that mm -hmm. was a fantastic one. And it's a good game. <clears throat> um, companies need to take more risks like that when you have more diversity in the protagonist because yeah. ninety percent, ninety ninety five percent of the time, the protagonist is white. Yeah. yeah. What are you doing? Nothing. I, I don't know. I was trying to do that while not looking. <laughs> I was using a reflection in Kay's glasses to tell where I was going. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> All right. Um, <clears throat> sure, tell everybody to wear glasses. Yeah. We, we now all know. wear glasses. Well, that should be... Well, once, all <laughs> of our, all, once all of our promotional stuff is up... Well, I don't regularly wear them. I only wear them for the gaming stuff. I don't wear them in pictures. Um, so, but for all, the prof <laughs> all of our actual like, professional stuff, you're not going to wear them? Probably not. Really? Really? I feel oh, like it'll be too weird because people will just be like, "Well, wait, we're all time," but then your photos gonna look different. Yeah, that's gonna be even great. the show. Absolutely. I think the show you should. It's yeah. like an identifying characteristic for some of you guys we'll to differentiate. If I have to walk around, you'll just look like another white guy. If then. I walk around, <laughs> if I have to walk around, I'm gonna walk into stuff if I'm not wearing it. So. <laughs> oh yeah, so you're gonna have to wear them. Never mind. So for a lot of action stuff, but yeah, for photo things, because I mean, we're gonna get the website up uh, eventually. Um, with other stuff, so you'll start seeing promotional stuff with us physically nope. there. Nope. Because we'll put our, we'll put pictures Minus and bios of us. <laughs> nah, we'll put Dave in there. No. We can get him to show up. <laughs> well, he's probably the show Dave, production stuff. I know Dave, not David. I know. Well, I guess, uh, well, he's only working with the production stuff. Yeah. Because yeah. I still yeah. talk to him on that on that stuff. Um, it's just we have to continue working on that stuff, which unfortunately it takes time. Yeah. Um, I got a lot of things in the work, which is great. I got a lot of work done on that stuff. Um, so, yeah, so I'm excited for Far Cry 5. I love the setting, I love the setup. You really should play 3-4 and Blood Dragon are absolutely must-plays. I'll get there. Um, Blood Dragon is fantastic. Blood Dragon's backwards compatible. I think 3's backwards compatible now, right? And then 4 you can get on Xbox One. Why are you looking at my Pokemon card? I just want to see what did I add because I forgot. Yeah. Nothing special, apparently. I was very really disappointed that all that, and he's one I'm already going to They haven't really done any game. cool events for no, Sun they Moon haven't. yet. There's no good releases or specials. Uh, I mean, they haven't even Except released Except for you beat the game and you Mar get that, mach yet. that machine one. Or machine Bunny. Machine, machine Bunny? bunny? Magirna? That's it. <laughs> I don't know his name. I haven't seen him yet. I just know you get him and you beat the game. And it's not when you beat the game. It's when you beat the Elite Four. Yeah, but I mean... That's beating the game. We're back to Pokemon again? So, oh, you um, well, my lead-in for uh, when we had mentioned the Far Ubisoft Cry game. was with Ubisoft games. And I mentioned that with Ubisoft because um, evidently you, a couple of things this leads into. One, Ubisoft has been mentioning that they are going to be likely moving away from physical, regular distribution of games over the next few years. Oh, They're going to be this... limiting down... the like They've said they planned out the main franchises. You're going to see less of them physically come out. They're going to be more... Digital. Um, digital, but they're not going to be straight games. They're looking at the setup of what like Hitman did. Does, structured releases. Does this mean parts. they're going to be uh, more emphasis on Uplay? Huh. Maybe. I'm going to punch you. <laughs> 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 just so I can get mad at you. Um, 
<laughs> but no, no, but looking from what I can describe, the most of most of it sounds of similar structure to what the last Hitman just did. Um, with the periodic release, like it is a single game, you can buy the whole game ahead of time, but it's periodic releases of the game, so that way they can structurally, essentially they can release, make profit, and build as they're finishing things up. Right. That's kind of where that construction is, is the underwear finishing notes. things to, <laughs> to do it while you're doing it. I bring that up, because that's what Ubisoft says they're likely to start moving into, and they're reducing the physical release of future big franchises the next couple of years, and they said they're only doing a couple here, a couple there, a couple there. Huh. Um... And I mentioned that this whole structure thing they're doing because guess who else also said that they're moving that way for future releases. And technically, they've actually already started ahead of uh, Ubisoft on doing that. Square Enix. Well, they, they already they, said they were planning on doing something like that for the, uh, Final, the Fantasy Final Fantasy VII remake. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what they also had hinted at? Kingdom Hearts 3. Kingdom Hearts 3 Which might be a periodic release bullshit. game. They, Which is funny because Square Enix dropped IO Interactive. Who they did, did. the Hitman. Yeah. They're giving the rights. I think they're... Did they sell the rights away? They're selling No, rights? They, I believe they're retaining the rights. Uh, no, no, but I mean, they, whatever they're... I think they had to sell it to... I think they were letting IO buy the Hitman from them. I'm sure they're trying to turn it Not really sure. I just know that they know are retaining it. Yeah, IO's retaining it and all. But even though they were unhappy and it was like they didn't sell what they thought, it sold well and got great reviews... I was surprised how well, much it's because people like that game. They did it. They did it with a franchise now. that's not really too big. But I feel I mean, like it's never been a huge. Yeah, best exactly. Seller, has it? Like, it's that's what I'm saying. Well. But I feel like if they do it with with Kingdom Hearts three, especially, they're gonna make a fucking butt ton of money. I don't know. I feel like that's just gonna deter. Like, I, I, I I don't know. I, well, I think Final Fantasy. Here's the thing. Final but, Fantasy seven. Final Fantasy seven will probably but, so. but time, is gonna be. Time. I think but, that one's going to be ton, worse because they're ton. doing that, which is again their whole hey, because ton. they. Hey, but ton. <laughs> done yet? <laughs> um, Final Fantasy VII is again it's one of those because they're taking forever to make stuff, so they want to start making money off it now. Yeah. I don't like Square Enix doing this because I feel like of them, they tend to have so much stuff in unfinished and take so long to do yeah. it. It's going to be a pain structure. It is. Um, and Final Fantasy VII, from what I remembered, they're oh, man. they're Imagine not they did fifteen like that. That's one of the things they said that they wish they had done, so that with 15 was still had more ongoing stuff. Even though 15 is going to be releasing new stuff Didn't they more. Re release no, I meant like that would be bad. You're like, all right, you're only going to get this area now. Yeah. I'm like, we'll wait yeah. till we finish this area. And that, yeah. That's one of the things oh, they mentioned. Oh, that, I had a shit on their doorstep. That, that's what they mentioned <laughs> that they thought that they they were say that we should have considered that for 15. No, I no, no, I agree. Bad. I, I agree, but that's one I of the reasons they're looking their at mailbox. Uh. Um, but they're doing that with seven. <laughs> But seven's prices doesn't sound like you're gonna you know it's not like you're gonna pay six, Hitman you buy a sixty dollar game and you've got all the pieces over time but you still play, bought a sixty dollar game yeah it doesn't sound like Final Fantasy seven's like that I think that each part is segregated and you have to buy each one yeah that's what it sounds like and it's, it's, I feel like prices. in order to get the whole game it's gonna cost you a couple hundred it's gonna dollars. cost you more than oh, okay. a sixty dollar game which is because according to the end yeah. they're, they're they're building each each setup is supposed to be a full game in itself. Yes. And they're probably going to charge 20 to 30 for each section. Jesus. It's going to be more... That's what I'm saying. Like this Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy VII Remake is a jack ripoff. It's just a way... I think they're going to try to make more And they more said money more remakes may be in the way. And I'm really hoping that by that they mean Final Fantasy VI, the one true god. <laughs> the one true god. The Kafka one, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm always hey, clarifying. I, I, I've never played six. Shut the fuck up. Oh, why, why, why do you call, open your mouth? I'm you gonna say you, things you like tell me to open my mouth more, <laughs> yeah. and then I open my mouth. And you disappoint us. <laughs> <laughs> I've never <laughs> played Final Fantasy VI. I've never I played it. <laughs> oh, but I know God. of it. But I'm, I'm I know of it though. Yeah, I, like, I know the character. Final Fantasy games. I keep trying. I like the story for six. I just, I'm not a big fan. You guys drive me to drink. <laughs> yeah, that soda is going to put you in an early grave as much as it's going to put me in an early grave. I think it'll put me more in an early grave than the two of you. You're not drinking soda much anymore. Would you like soda? No, you like no I'm kidding. Thanks. Well, you don't yeah. drink soda like we do anymore. I don't drink soda at all. Some of these guys drink, drink, drink soda like I do anymore. <laughs> I've actually cut back, so he may be worse than me now. I don't drink I also, any soda I've, at all. I've never drank any I don't drink drinks. any water I drink at all. water yeah. a lot. Like, at ever. <laughs> In fact, his sodas are mostly syrup. <laughs> Less liquid, the better. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yes, yeah, so where Ains is saying that they might do that in Kingdom Hearts three. If they do that for Kingdom Hearts three. I'm gonna be pissed. They said Kingdom Hearts three into might their be, shoes. Uh, all of them just they're line up because they're a Japanese company, so they're over by the door. It's yeah, a lot exactly. easier. Just <laughs> sir, what are you doing here? Just give me a couple minutes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Told you earlier, I got a large bladder. Yeah. I can hit a ball. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, 
which I, I feel like that's just going to thrash, and I think they might do it, because they said Final, mm. Kingdom Hearts 3 is currently on their uh, in the schedule for their business meeting. They said between 2018 and 2020, so we're definitely not seeing it this year. Fuck. Um, and here's what I think. I think if they go with a traditional game, we're going to see it more close to 2020 is realistically what it looks like. But if they do but it the other the way. structure, they might start 2018 and release it over like a year it. span. See, I don't know what I want now. How many, how many months did it take Hitman to fully come out for that first full it, season? I don't think it is. No, it, it, no the, it's, it's finished as it's, quote, season one. They're doing a second one now. Which is what Square Enix mm. didn't want to do, and that's why they dropped it. But now that they have the rights to it, IO Interactive is going to continue to do it. Um, I feel cool. like it was less than a year for Hitman. When did Hitman first come I, out? I honestly think if you build a good engine, a good, good engine, you don't need a new one every time. Yeah. And especially with the good generation, the generation of consoles, you build an engine that works on the Xbox One, the PS4, the Pro... And Scorpio, you don't need a new one for every game. So instead of just building a new Hitman every game, they should just be building update stories to the existing one. Which is what they're doing with the current one. Which is, uh, again, what I think they should be doing with Madden. We don't need a new Madden every fucking yeah. year. Just charge me $20 for an updated fucking roster. Yeah. Agreed. <laughs> I've been saying that for years. American you and I were. I'm the only but actually put out a new Madden I when feel, you put out a new engine. But I feel thing. like they, they should. Their sales have gone up almost every year on Madden. They have no reason not to. Because people still fucking buy them. Because people will buy it. And I know. It, it's so much more. And again, they make, most of the time they aren't building really new engines. They are making alterations to their existing engine and renaming it. But they're not. Yeah, that's not enough. You can you can, you can make an alteration and changing to the an, rosters. That's it. You can and make an alteration roster. to an existing engine through a fucking patch. <laughs> Agreed. But that's not. But again, that by making the site things, they're not really spending the money to build a new thing. They're just making other updates to it. So the costness to make a new Madden for a couple of years span is dirt cheap in the long run. Every couple of years, they do have to make something new to update it or a new console. I, I but guess, that's why they make such a huge profit off of Madden, and it sells so well. They would so make well. an even larger profit if they just sold a roster updates, because they'd also nail all those people who aren't willing to buy a new Madden. Yeah. I think they make too much money for them to consider it. I think if Madden never starts going down then, badly, that's their back. But it never Have you will. seen his career? It went down badly. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Madden's still around. I mean, he's up there in age now, right? Is, I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm waiting for him. I think he's like the next big sports icon that might eventually go. Maybe. Um, that's not just an untimely... I think he was a coach. Was he ever a player? Yes. Back in his day? That's yes, he was. I not he a was. good one, but he was. <laughs> no, he was a great coach. But, um, he was a good coach. I don't know. I mean, I feel like they should do that with most sports games, though. They should. And, and, but the problem is, there's such a huge profit margin doing know, what they do. Because people Because it's them. very little expense to make a brand new game a year, and you're still charging 60 bucks. They make a larger percentage per game than a typical game does, because yeah. they don't have to invest much to do it. <sighs> um, so while for a consumer, it'd be a lot better... Company, There's no reason yeah. to when you're making that much yeah. money off it. And le- Makes sense. It's their de- that would be their desperate if everything starts going downhill. Which it never that's was. how they can bail out to make the sales back. Yeah. But if you look at Madden sales, even Call of Duty, people always bam that. Yeah, I think Call up of Duty, until fucking... Advanced Warfare, I think Call of Duty was still periodically every year beating its previous one. Even ones that were not great. Like, Modern Warfare 2s where a lot of people put it as its peak. That was definitely its peak. Yeah, it was um, all I downhill I've had some, had some people there. saying Modern Warfare 1. I thought 2 was awesome. I thought well. 2 was, was great. Yeah. Um, I did not like 3. I didn't um, like 3 I did either. like the first three Black Ops, but it wasn't better than 2. I but don't still, like Black Ops at Black all. Ops, I like Black Ops what came 1 after and 2. Three. I thought it was Black Ops 2 came out after 3. Yeah, because we're on Black Ops 3 now. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, those ones all sold better than the previous ones. Yeah. Um, if I'm not mistaken. Because I like. only have reason they haven't sold as well, but they're still making a lot of money on yeah. it. Yeah. I like Black Ops 1 and 2. I didn't like 3 at all. Yeah, I'm not a back Black Ops person. I haven't played since Advanced Warfare. I haven't played 3 as much as I want to. It never well, see, goes on, the it funny never part was me. It's for a good price to me to go, ah, sure, I'll pick that up and play the campaign I now. I stopped at Black Ops 2. Didn't play any of the Call of Duties again until Black Ops 3. And then I just well, I used to never buy Call of Duty. Good. I used to get it every year as a manager. It was always well, given to me. Well, that's because you worked at GameStop. Uh, well, yeah, I was a GameStop manager for years. Yeah. Um, but Advanced Warfare was the last time that I was there when the release came out. Yeah. Um, so I want to. Try, I really want to try Infinite Warfare because yeah. I hear it's a good game. People are just miss, pissed off because it's Call of Duty. But if you were to not make that a Call of Duty game, you say it was a really good game. 
Though I heard uh, Kit Harrington's performance was kind of meh. <laughs> I didn't even know he was in that game. Yeah, yeah he's, yeah, he's, he's the, the villain. John Snow's the villain. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's why I'm just like, which is a little interesting. Like, Advanced Warfare had at least, like, uh, Kevin Spacey, which was still one of the oh, he was best fantastic. memorable characters. Yeah. And still one of my favorite things to see uh, him in. Um, so yeah, that's what we're uh, that's what we're looking at there. Um, What's that? Kingdom Hearts may be a periodic release, which will just be terrible. Though to be honest, I still <laughs> haven't gotten through any of the other Kingdom Hearts <laughs> games that I have. Uh, yeah, because you fucking suck dick. Yeah. You know what? I, I got bought, I got stuff to do. Sir. I bought the Kingdom Hearts uh, collection on PS4. So did I. With the upgraded frame rate and all that. The cameras really. They did something with the frame rate in, in the update that just. Uh, Fucked with the. Uh, I, I haven't played it yet. I want to. I want to go through it again. I guess. I guess. Fuck you, Sean. I, I should say it. I fucked you. Fucked with the field of viewers up because I, I. If I play it, I start to feel really sick. Oh, that's not good. I hope you uh, that to me. So I can't Fuck physically it. play the Stay game here. myself, but I can watch my girlfriend play it just fine. That's weird. So that's what. Uh, that's what we've been doing. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit! <laughs> oh god! It's not tumble. We weren't playing tumble. Uh, uh, we do need to do that again now. Uh, oh, I'm not flying. That's why. Oh, fuck. Da -da -da. All right. So I think. Uh, <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Oh god! <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> um. So that means anybody have anything else? Or right, get your ass back down here. I'm right here. Um, I think we we'll wrap oh it up. But that's time. <laughs> oh, <fuck laughs> well, I never save this every week. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anybody hey, else with anything? No, I mean, I'm a little annoyed if, if they do do that. <sighs> I think it might happen. I, they are money guzzling whores. <sighs> Square Enix makes great games, but they, uh. Yeah, they do. I still don't know. I still love them, even though I've been I waiting don't... 20 years for Kingdom Hearts 3. Yeah. No, nah, more like 10. 15. Yeah, so, uh, either we're gonna have a stupid periodic Kingdom Hearts release, which will suck, or, uh, 2020 for Kingdom Hearts 3, finally. That was, only, that was only announced how many years ago now? And Fucking 10, something like that? No, no, no. I mean, but, like, officially, like, revealed footage at E3. That was what? I thought it was, it had to, four? It had to be at least, like, five or six, I thought. Okay, any? Do you remember? A long time ago. <laughs> Uh, Over right. yonder. All right, guys, and uh, okay, you want to sign us off? Get off your mm -hmm. damn phone. Yeah, yeah, just um, <laughs> you, you <laughs> click the button that says sign out. <laughs> That's n not even on here. It's <laughs> <laughs> nothing to do with the program. <laughs> I meant sign off. Yes, uh, Xbox, sign off. <laughs> I hate you. This one is no <laughs> Hey, Cortana. Yeah, yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. Let's go there. <laughs> We will see you guys <laughs> next week. Bye.